Welcome back to Dark Souls. They're starting off with a bonfire right here. Uh, we're gonna go look for some uh, items around in this swamp area. Alright, just to uh, conserve your items, you do just want to stay poisoned. Um, if your HP does go pretty low and you feel like you're gonna die, then just heal up. Alright, so we're starting off by going right first from the bonfire. We headed straight up. Um, straight forward from the bonfire so we're gonna start off by going to, to the right as you can see here I'm just gonna run over here and uh, use the heal miracle alright going this way you will meet two uh, of the big ogre things they are new enemies um, this time they don't hold clubs they hold uh, big boulders you'll see here and they are in a very dark area over here you, you cannot see them see that you can't really see anything until you get close enough and there they are All right. Um, also another thing you don't wanna fight them both at the same time yeah, it was pretty close there so just be careful about fighting them both at the same time. They can easily, uh, easily take out your entire HP bar. So focus on killing one first. And when this, when they're by themselves, they're uh, pretty simple. So it shouldn't be a problem if you burst, burst it by itself. And, uh, there goes those two guys. There are only two guys guarding this club uh, weapon over here. So run over here, pick it up. Alright, so now we're gonna just head on back over to the bonfire. Alright, now this time we're gonna head on over to the left. Um, this time we won't see any of the big ogres, but we will see uh, more of those leeches. These leeches do drop uh, green titanite, and uh, they also drop large titanite. So if you're looking to uh, farm these guys for some titanite uh, pieces, you got you can come and uh, farm these guys. I prefer you have the gold serpent ring before you come and uh, farm these guys, just so your chances are better at uh, at getting the items that you want.
Oh yeah, and if I if I haven't said it before yet, um, I do prefer you go back to the Undead Asylum uh, before you come here. Uh, if you don't have that ring that I'm wearing to prevent me from uh, walking slower in in this mudish, swampy area, this area will be very tough for you to get through. Only because you wouldn't be running as fast as how I'm running. Uh, you will be walking around in that swamp, and that's just no fun at all. So, I do pref even if you don't fight the boss in the Undead Asylum yet, I do prefer you go and get the, uh, the ring back at the Undead Asylum. gonna kill these last two leeches over here all right heading back up this way there are uh, hidden paths um, I did upload another video already um, of what is over here so if you just want to watch that video um, I show you guys the 10 crystal lizards uh, found and uh, the great hollow going down that way so at this moment of the game I won't be going over there anytime soon so yeah Uh, I probably will uh, come back to that and show that area later on uh, in another video. That is also where the, the second Hydra, the last Hydra can be found. So, uh, I'll bring out that video another time. And uh, just heal back up at the bonfire, restock everything, and uh, we're ready to head on over to the boss now. Alright, so same thing here, you want to be a human before you come over here. Um, I didn't realize that I wasn't human because I forgot that I died up in the Blight Town area by that bridge. So I just run on back and uh, reverse my hollowing. Um, that is a good area to uh, find people to summon if you're having trouble with this part. Just stand next to the bonfire there and um, you should see at least a couple of people appear to summon uh, there. And uh, here goes the first or the next NPC invade right here. Just to give you another taste of what uh, player versus player is just like about um, this fight is pretty simple movements are quick but the attacks are kind of slow 
as you can see, every hit I'm doing on NPC here is making her stagger because she is not wearing any armor. So. Alright, don't miss this item right here. Head on over this way. You don't want to head on straight forward over there or else you'll run into like three or four of those uh, ogres with those boulders again. So you want to run around them over the way I took here just to avoid them. on through here all right so I was just checking to see which of my armor plate armors had better fired um, defense bonus as you see there were a couple of uh, summon signs there but this is the NPC that you just killed right here the invader she does help you and uh, yeah, this person does decide to invade me. So, but I don't realize that I do have the NPC helping me. So, this uh, this invader, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. But anyways, gave me a free humanity. Heading on down to the boss now. Alright, so to start off with this fight here, you want to um, run to the back of the spider. I do believe the weak spot of the spider is attacking the girl. So, if you do attack the girl, I believe she uh, she staggers. Uh, I, I have tried some uh some ranging archery on her so if you want to just aim for the weak spot you can aim for there um, the best possible way of or i just say the easiest way of beating this boss is staying away from that lava All right uh, attacking her only when when uh, she uh, starts shooting that lava, that move there is very powerful. So uh, if she just if she does just stand there for a little bit like that, you want to just get away from her immediately. See there. If she just if she does just stand there. Get away from her immediately. And uh... I recommend you always stay at full life fighting this boss. 